Right, here we have an exercise on master modelling. Um, it follows on from the tutorial which we did in class. Um, the part file that you need for this, which is called master model exercise, is available in the study materials area um, for lecture 7. Okay, let's have a quick look and familiarise ourselves with how this component's been built. Um, again, all the features are inside this folder called master model. Um, the part has been thickened from a surface and turned into a solid. If you look at the cross-sectional view, you can see it's, uh, it's got about a 2mm wall thickness all the way around. Um, essentially, it's been made up from a number of surfaces. We've got a, a planar surface across the top, um, a couple of extruded surfaces um, which give boundary um, to a lofted surface, which is this surface here, um, and then there's a fillet um, which runs around the top edge. That's then all been thickened, and lastly, the item has been mirrored because it's been drawn just half of it initially, and then so there we go, there's how it was drawn to start with, and thickened, and then mirrored to create the full, um, full component. We've also got four sketches, which we're then going to use to create the components, um, which we can extract from this master model. So let's have a look at the extraction process. Um, for this, you'll need to have your surfaces tab and your direct editing tab turning on and the first thing we're going to do is split the part lengthways so that we'll leave leave us with a top and a bottom section and for that we're going to split through the top plane so select the top plane and choose split click on cut part and we can tick the two features that are generated, top and the bottom, and click the tick. If you want to rename that split to make it easier to follow, uh, just right click, click on feature properties, and call it top and bottom. Now if we look in the solid bodies folder, we've got two parts, two solid bodies within our part file. Okay, so moving on then. Um, next thing we can do is we can create a split um, for the buttons in this top surface. So let's choose the button sketch and split. Click on cut part, and I just want to pick those features on the top surface, so not where it will split through on the bottom surface. So there should be 12 of these uh, round buttons, and one rectangular button, and then the surface, uh, the top surface itself, so there should be 14 components all together. And I'll click the tick to create that. Okay. And you can call that, right click, feature properties, let's call that buttons. Right, other things that we want to split on this top surface are for the screen and the trim running around the screen. Let's start off with the screen trim sketch. So we select the sketch, choose split, click cut part, and we can choose the two bodies that we want to split out from that. Let's 
pull that screen trim okay that and then last one on this top surface is to create the screen itself which is sitting inside the the screen trim so we choose the screen sketch okay, split cut part and this time two parts will be the trim and the screen and we can rename that screen okay so we've currently got Quite a few bodies, most of the buttons. And we've got the top shell and the two screen segments. If we look at the bottom, we're going to create a battery um, cover. And we're going to do that by cutting in the different direction to what we've previously cut. So this rectangular sketch here, which is called battery cover. We want to slice lengthways, but before we do that, if we did it right now, it would create a slice both directions. So what I need to do is actually divide the bottom in two at that at that point, and we have a, a plane, so plane number two that the rectangular sketch for the battery cover has been drawn on, and we can split the bottom section with that plane. So let's choose plane number two and click split, cut part, and pick the two sides of the bottom, and we can call that bottom. Bottom shell. Now I can do the split for the battery cover. And only pick to the left of that plane. So I don't want to pick these other parts up here. Call that battery cover. There, that's all the splitting that we need to do. Um, there's one further action though. I don't really want this bottom shell to be in two sections here. I want the, these two elements to be one. And for that I can use the combine tool. So I click on combine. And in bodies to combine, pick battery cover one and bottom shell 2, Double tick, and that joins those two together, and call it combine, so we can rename that combine feature and call it bottom combine. Right, all the next processes are going to be concentrating on how we um, output the bodies from this master model as separate components within the um, assembly file. And we'll do that on a second video. So if you want to follow on from this, go on to part two video.